Hi, my name is Ether from 5D. This experiment is called Sugar Water Refraction. It's about testing whether water with different sugar concentrations which result in different refraction. At start, I didn't believe the sugar would have any effect on its refraction. So let's see. In this experiment, we will need sugar, a paper for angle measurement, 100 ml of water in a measuring cup, flurries, laser, and a transparent container. The control variables are the same amount of water and the same laser shooting from the same angle. The independent variable is the different amounts of sugar. So let me set this up. The transparent container will be placed at 90 degrees. And the laser points here at a 45 degree. And since there's only air inside, there's no change of medium, meaning there's no refraction. So it comes out the other side at a 225 degree. Now I will pour the water into the container. As you can see, the refraction has changed the angle. The laser is now exiting at a 212 degree instead. That means a 13 degree difference. Next, we will start adding sugar. Let's see if it makes any difference. I will start from 20, which means adding 20 ml of sugar into the water. Then we will try 40, 60, and 80%, and all the way up to 200. Here are the results. So by adding sugar into the water, from 0% to 200%, the angle of refraction has changed from 32 to 28.5 degrees. And that is a 3.5 degree difference. So by using Snell's law, we have found out the refraction index and the speed of light traveling in a medium. So the refraction index has increased from 1.33 to 1.48, and that's an 11% increase. And that means at 200% sugar concentration, the light travels in the water is 11% slower. And I did not expect that. Thank you for watching. Bye!